Hey YouTube, it's Mr. Sandwich here with another Let's Play video. And look, here's an Easter egg. Look, it's Mario characters. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, look. Look, there's Bowser, Mario, and Peach. And then on the left, there was Yoshi. Yeah, just a little Easter egg I thought I'd share with you guys. Anyways, we're gonna talk to this girl over here. Huh? What? Who are you? How'd you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Is that... A fairy? Then are you are you from the forest? Then then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone. Do you have it? Yes I do. Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds and left the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is the prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Hmm, Sandwich? Strange, it sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Sandwich. Let's let's tell you the secret of the Sacred Realm. Alright. Oh, what the hell? I can't even read there. Please keep this secret from everyone. Okay, why not? The legend goes like this. I'm just gonna be quiet here. This is pretty interesting. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the Sacred Realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with the stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it's said you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Yeah, we got the cheap Ocarina from Saria, the fairy Ocarina. Eh, yeah, nasty. <sighs> After this, we cannot go straight. We can't go straight to the next area. We gotta take care of a few stuff before we could even proceed. The dark clouds. I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? Yeah. Well, I mean, we have to. We have no choice. Even if we say no, we still have to. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf, the leader of the Gerudo. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I'm sure he is not sincere. Just look at him. He looks like a freaking thug. Why would you trust him? I bet he's powerful too. Yes, I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Gandorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule? No, the entire world. Sandwich. Now, we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. Okay. Thank you. I, I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate you have come. We must not let Gandalf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. 
You can find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the try first before Gandalf does, and then defeat him. One more thing, take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. Na 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 na. Alright, we got a letter. Alright. Sounds nice. Uh, this letter, we really do not need it, but we're gonna have to use it. We only use it once. My attendant will guide you out of the castle. Okay. Alright. Our ocarina is so cheap. I want the ocarina of time already. I don't want this dumb fairy ocarina. Mm, oh boy. You are a courageous boy. You are hanging out on a big new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream is to teach a melody to the one from the forest. That's us. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have never played this song. Oh, I have played some. Forget that line. Why can't I read? There is there is some mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. All right, sounds fair enough. It sounds so nice. I wonder what she's actually playing that this th on. It's so weird. Oh boy, so easy to play. Man, why don't we get up to like the water temple or something? Oh, that's when it's gonna get challenging. Be like five parts of temple or something, I don't know. Later in the game, it gets much more challenging. You brave lad. We must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. Oh, that's nice. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That's where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help you to prove your connection with the royal family. Alright. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. Alright, we're counting on you. Okay, so so now we have actually meaning to our to our adventure. Alright, we gotta go to that you see that um that structure in front of me? We're gonna go there. That is Lon Lon Ranch. Remember that guy Talon? Who says he's the owner of Lon Lon Ranch? Well, we're gonna go meet him again. And remember that little girl who gave us the egg, Malin? Well, she's there too. Um, and we're gonna have to meet her again also. I'm just gonna, well, you know, you could just walk there, except I'm just gonna use speed running tactics. And, and um, the reason I'm using that, cause if you just walk there normally, it's gonna get to nighttime before you even get there. And don't worry, we're gonna learn something that can help us change time from day to night only. Anyways, back in the past for me, easy, easy stuff. And look, look what he's doing. He is sleeping again. That's just nice. So, anyways, we're gonna need at least ten rupees before we come here. That's why. That's why I did a little bit of rupee grinding. Anyways. We're we're gonna play a little game that he wants us to play. Um, so he so the point of this game is that you're gonna have to. You see those three cocos? You got there's a and the whole place is full of cocos. You gotta find the three cocos out of the whole room and pick them up. My strategy for this is just pick up as many cocos as you can, just throw them to the corner of the room until, because uh, when you pick up the right one, he's gonna say, "Uh oh, you found one. Okay, two more to go." Here I'll, sh here, I'll show you this. Look, just pick up as many as you can. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. That's it. And see, look. I picked up one and said, that's one of them. See? And then they disappear. 
and here's a s and and oh yeah there we go that's a s that's another one and just pick up as many as you can and look yeah see all right anyways anyways he's gonna give us an empty bottle so um guys i think i'm just gonna end this off here wait we're after i get the bottle and after i marry, marry malin all right wait Anyways, he's gonna give us an empty bottle, but it's gonna be filled with milk. So I don't know if it's a full bottle, empty bottle. I, don't, I you know, I don't know. All right, so he's just gonna give us a bottle. All right, I think I'm just gonna end this off here. So I'll see you guys on the next time of the Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time.